When starting the clearing saw, it should be placed on the ground and stabilized. Check throttle operation, and if saw is cold, use the choke. Make a firm pull on the starting cord, and once the engine starts, turn off the choke. The blade should not turn when the saw is idling. Always use high blade speed for cutting, and always maneuver the saw using the hips and legs when cutting. For small trees less than two centimeters in diameter, use the whole blade. In dense stands of these small trees, use sweeping movements to cut. For trees two to eight centimeters in diameter, Use the 8 to 12 o'clock and 3 to 4 o'clock positions on the blade for cutting. Never cut in the 12 to 3 o'clock position. This is the kickback sector. Remember, keep safety first, no shortcuts. You can control the direction in which a tree will fall by cutting with the correct part of the blade. The rotation of the blade determines whether the stem of the tree will push away from you or move towards you. Thus the tree will fall forward or backward. To make a tree fall forward, use the left side of the blade at the 9 to 11 o'clock position. With a high blade speed, pull the blade towards you as you cut. This action causes the stem to move toward you and the tree falls forward. If you tilt the blade, a tree can be made to fall left or right. The stem will slide off a tilted blade, causing the treetop to fall in the opposite direction. To fell backwards and to the right, tilt the right side of the blade up and use the 3 o'clock position on the blade. Feed the blade to the right and forward. This action causes the stem to move away from you and slide to the left. Thus the tree falls backward and to the right. Notice the hip and leg movement while cutting. To fell backwards and to the left, tilt the right side of the blade down and use the three o'clock position on the blade. Feed forward and to the right. This action causes the stem to move away from you and slide to the right, thus the tree falls backward and to the left. Again, notice how the hip and leg movement makes the cut. For larger trees, 8 to 11 centimeters in diameter, some special cutting techniques are required for directional felling. The triangle cut and the open notch are the two most common. To make a large tree fall forward or away from you, use the right side of the blade and cut to the center of the stem. Standing in the same position, use the left side of the blade, cut two centimeters below on the opposite side and to the center. The hinge is now placed away from you and the tree can be pushed forward and felled. Once the tree is down, cut off the hinge. To make a large tree fall backward or toward you, use the right side of the blade and cut to the center of the stem. Step to the right, cut two centimeters below on the opposite side and cut to the center.
The hinge is now facing you, and the tree can be pulled towards you when felled. It is this hinge that controls the direction in which the tree will fall. Again, cut off the hinge once the tree is down. As can be seen in both examples, the hinge is in the shape of a triangle. The open notch method is much the same as the felling technique used by a chainsaw operator. It's used to fell trees larger than 11 centimeters in diameter. First, using the left side of the blade, make an initial straight cut one quarter the diameter into the stem. Then tilt the left side of the blade up and cut upwards and at an angle to meet the first cut. Once the notch is cut, move to the opposite side of the tree and make the felling cut at the same height as the first cut using the left side of the blade. Leave approximately two centimeters for the hinge. Once the tree is down, cut off the hinge. The left side of the blade is the only side used for the open notch cut. If your saw becomes jammed, turn it off. Never try to remove an obstruction while the saw is operating. Remember, don't take shortcuts when dealing with your safety. While using the clearing saw, a few common sense rules apply. Cut the tree in sections if it obstructs your view. Tilt the blade in order to avoid rocks. Pull down trees that delay your work. Fell trees toward areas already cleared. Work in straight lines three to five meters apart. Remember, proper directional felling is the most important contributing factor for high worker productivity. It also reduces fatigue, which in turn prevents accidents.